So hello, welcome to another vlog. It is Fan Expo weekend. I know I didn't do an intro yesterday, I'm so excited. So I'm gonna queue all the videos that I took yesterday and the pictures and put them in here. Go. He's the outsider, he gets into the royal family, he marries in and he goes, oh my god, no one likes me, I'll do what I want anyway. Um, I won't ask my wife for permission for anything. And, um, and you know, there's that thing where they sort of, they don't quite fit in in their environment and then it makes them, he's a maverick, Prince Philip. So it's Friday morning and I'm walking to the convention centre and my cosplay and I've got a busy schedule today and yeah Someplace really wrong. Um, so, what did you say? It was how do you say it in French? The, do that again. <laughs> Zimon. 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 Okay. Zimon. Just do it again with the hands for me. Zimon. I love Quebecois. <laughs> Thank you. See you later, buddy. You've never shaved in your life? You don't know how to shave? Let, let me teach you. Just turn around and show them all your beautifulness. Scott, if you're watching... Come up here for 
before you were gonna kiss me? As a director, I can liken it to two things. Not that I've done either. One is drive a Rolls Royce, and two is play a Stradivarius. And that's what it's like directing Tim. And that's what that series was like. And I Don't get strong now. I'm a 
day three of Fan Expo. I am heading down to the subway so that I can go down there. And it is Carmilla Day. Basically what that means is I'm going to be lining up for like god knows how many hours to make sure I have a really good seat or seeing the trailer and QA for the Carmilla movie. So I've got a late day because of that, but it's earlier than yesterday. So, yeah.
uh, with maybe a little more consciousness and awareness comes up. So, so Laura is definitely still like a control freak and um, um, still very determined uh, to, to make her mark on the world and uh, has some pretty aspirational career goals and she goes after those. Um, but I, I feel like she's a little more willing to be wrong and a little more willing to uh, listen to both sides of the story. And um, yeah, yeah, that's all. <laughs> uh, yeah. I, over the past five years, so five years after season three ends, um, Carmilla's a human and she's been really enjoying her human life and making up for a lot of lost time. She's been incredibly gluttonous, which I think is <laughs> typical Carmilla regardless of whether or not she's a human. Uh, she likes to have a nice time. Uh, but now she can like go and suntan and, and, and I think that her and Lauren did a lot of traveling together and she's certainly um, a little less dark like I, I would say she's there's a, a more of a brightness to her um, in in that sense and that she can actually like enjoy her life she's got this amazing partner now she doesn't have to worry what's going to happen when one of them grows old the other doesn't um, but I think without giving away too many spoilers uh, this film sort of explores uh, a little bit more of Carmilla's journey and her past and, and sort of um, dealing with some of the things that she had been avoiding for a long time. So a lot of issues surface up, uh, sort of come to the surface and bubble up like, you know, L L's around. That's that's a big one. I mean, what do you what do you say to an ex that you haven't seen in hundreds of years? <laughs> the first person that broke your heart. Uh, so we definitely see her sort of struggling with that as well. And. Um, it is no spoiler that she is also uh, starting to show signs of potentially revamping or becoming a vampire again, but she's not really sure, and she's not happy about this because she she just wants to have just a nice life with Laura, and she doesn't want to have to like deal with you know facing um, closure and all those things. Hashtag domesticated Halstein. <laughs> We'll get to see their apartment, and our art department did an incredible job. But I would like to point out that there is no sign of Carmilla in that apartment at all. Speaking of controlling Laura, <laughs> I was like, this decor is beautiful, but like, where's Carmilla in this space? But I feel like Carmilla, yeah, a really amazing etch a sketch vagina. <laughs> Many photos of my face. It's pretty, pretty spectacular. I thought it was like really appropriate though, because I totally feel like Laura would be like, oh, do you have to like hang that weird bat wing <laughs> off of the window? So Carmilla's like, you know what? My girlfriend's awesome. I'll just let her decorate. It's fine. It's fine. Yes, we did. <laughs> into frame and it's like already sexy so that was also fan funded which was incredible um, and it was really important to me to make a show where somebody who looks like me and is like non-binary and everything it's not a side character and it's kind of like they find love and they like can experience the same thing that we see a lot in the media but not for a lot of people like me um so that was pretty cool yeah we're also like three episodes away from the series finale so i'm really emotional about it but really excited yeah <laughs> And, you know, I came up with this ridiculous answer about how I was like going to be an opera singer and I was going to do all of these things. And um, I, I think it's really important to set goals for yourself. And I always do, and I always set goals for the year. But I, I hope that I don't know where I'm going to be in five years. Because five years ago today, actually, I was just thinking about this. I was couch surfing. I, didn't, I was a barista. I didn't have any acting jobs. I didn't have a home. Uh, I was probably at one of like the darkest points in my life ever, and now exactly five years later, because yeah, what, what year is it? <laughs> yeah, no, exactly, and I would have never imagined sitting here with all of these amazing humans 
who are interested in things I have to say, which still boggles my mind. <laughs> Uh, you know, so I, I, I don't know. I hope that I'm still acting. I hope that I'm still creating things that are meaningful. But I don't have any specific ideas about that because um, I, I, things can change and happen, and, and I want to keep my heart open. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> uh, I would like to be. Uh, in in a, a, a running series on HBO or Showtime, um, and and then spend in in a city that I like, maybe either Los Angeles or or Toronto, and be about like half of the year shooting that consistently in a project that I'm really passionate about, in a role that I'm really passionate about, and then uh, and then also film an indie film that year as well, and then, <laughs> so, so there's like a TV and then a film, and then that's like one lot, and then also travel as well. <laughs> so, and then also own property. Go for it. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, um, yeah, and just, and as long as, um, as long as I'm like with good people, I don't have to be in a relationship, but as long as I have good humans, and then a good, like, passionate career, and the travel, then those are all the things that I need. Scary, sexy summer. Yeah. <laughs> That's just me. Ghost. Sex. Ghost. <laughs> uh, lit, spooky adventure. <laughs> Ghosts. Cleaning. Ghost. <laughs> Haunted house. Make it out. One word. <laughs> and goats. Um, thank you, cream puffs.